All right. I have a rough draft of the RCF leaderboard set up. Um, if it's black here, that means that they were not uh, the program or they were not active yet. Um, so we can see the Dayton asset, the Dayton member started only in, started in April. <laughs> it's kind of confusing here. Um, I have individual sheets for each location, for each asset, because I need each to have its own environment, but then I need to bring the data all together in one and then be able to use that data and present a leaderboard. Uh, because what I intend to do is um, pit these five against each other and create a type of competition that will help uh, them with their business as well. So, oh, that's much better. Okay. This is just simply importing from this information here. So, Denver has the highest scores. These down here don't have any scores. They, I, I have them broken down between the RCF score and the member score. Those two combined give the RCF score. I don't know what I'm going to call that yet, actually. Um, but here, I'm dividing against zero because I'm taking into account how many, um, let, let's say, how many clients they've closed if they don't have if they didn't close any for that month they also will have uh, acquisition costs of zero um, and to show you what I'm doing I'm scoring this information so I'm tracking the impressions of the ad campaign the reach of the campaign the clips the landing page views the number of opportunities so estimate requests how many estimates were delivered how many of those leads were lost and how many of those were won, right? And then I have the ad spend, the cost per opportunity and cost per acquisition. acquisition. Over here are just like totals of um, all of them. There's a lot of information here. It's nothing that you're gonna be able to really use for yourself right now. So don't, don't let this overwhelm you. Um, this is just how I organize my stuff to make sure everything is, is okay. So I, like I said, I'm tracking all of the, this down here is a scoring. This is really supposed to be like grayed out. It's, it's not right now. Um, but I'm tracking these five things for um, the RCF score and then estimates delivered, clients won, and acquisition cost for the member score. Um, so if they um, are not performing too well, they, uh, what can actually get a negative. Um, so for example, acquisition costs, it's costing on average, well, let's say, okay, for April, it's we closed one, Well, we spent 400 on ads. So it was an acquisition cost of one in that month. Um, that is a score of 412. That score is subtracted. So it's taken away. Like here, these, the acquisition costs and cost per opportunity are the metrics that get subtracted. From these scoring ones so it's bad to have a high score of these two um, and good to have a lower one so it's it can help them out but like in this case their member score was a negative because of how bad this one was uh, it's not going to show negative here because this is it's i have it subtracting f39 which is that so this was all set up and I haven't quite digested all of this information yet, um, but I need to familiarize myself with the numbers and um, see what decisions can be made from them. I bring that up because Denver in specific, specifically, the ad campaign started busting out of the gate. We have 700s, 900s, to start but here, Dayton did all right too, but we're only in the 500s. These other ones, uh, New Orleans was all right. Wichita was okay, but these had much lower budgets to start. So I know why they're lower. Um, a lower score in the RCF doesn't necessarily mean a bad campaign. It just means a lower cost, like um, uh, 
a campaign that is running at five dollars a day is going to score much lower than one that's running at twenty five dollars a day for example it's and it shows that if we're able to afford to spend more that's good that's a good thing so that's that's reflected in the score um, but February was all right. 210 was their first score. Um, Dayton, they delivered a lot of estimates. I think that that's what helped them, and and that's that's okay. If you can deliver a price, I'm good with that. Um, start. Um, March, I noticed the slowdown. April, I was like, okay, something. I don't I don't know really what's what's going on. Um, so we're going to pull back on the campaign. I pulled back. I cut the ad budget in half. And you can see it's slowed it way down here. Um, we're in May right now, it's May 4th, so this is really incomplete data. Um, but these hashtag divided by zero things are going to remain now um, until, well, actually it's like, they go away once you win a client, right? So it's, I, I'm going to lead in as, uh, the only way you get to activate your score on the leaderboard is when you close a, a deal, right? So. Um, it's kind of ugly how it has it here right now, but at least I can see like all my campaigns were performing against each other. And that way I will be able to have greater visibility into that and be able to make better decisions. Um, so this is, this is quite exciting. I've got to figure out how I'm going to lay this out to these five folks, these five businesses, and uh, basically say, all right, these are your competitors now. Let's go. And the great thing is, like, obviously, Denver and Dayton can't compete against each other, but it is good for them to have that friendly competition to help elevate their business. Um, there's a lot of a lot of different ways they can go with this, so I, I'm, I'm quite excited, and I wanted to get it out and show you um, what we have. Um, if you happen to be a cleaning company interested in the RCF, go ahead and apply. Um, I don't have the link on our Facebook page. I can't think of it off the top of my head um, because it's a longer URL. Um, but send in an application. We'll check it out and see if we um, see when we plan on coming into your market. We have we do have a roadmap. Um, I think there's a reason for it. But if you think you're ready, reach out. It's exciting. 